Hi everyone, Kieran Ovasapin here from Filmstorm Studios and today we're going to have a look at how to export and publish our games to Xbox One from Unity. So as you can see on the screen we have the Xbox dashboard and what we want to do is we actually want to come over and go into the store and we want to actually download an app that will allow us to um, hook into the, um, the actual Xbox from the PC. So as you can see, I've just started searching on the store and we want to look for um, dev and you can see this app has appeared dev mode activation. So let's jump into this and we want to install. It's going to quickly download that app. Okay, so that's finished downloading. So now, well, as you can see, it's finished. <laughs> we can press launch and that's going to um, open up the application. Now we just want to jump through some of their hoops. So we want to say next. We want to make sure that you have all this um, stuff. You want to have your development PC running Windows 10. You want to have the latest Visual Studio 2015 update three. And you want to make sure your console has at least five gigs of internal storage free. So let's go next. Now we want to jump over to our PC and we want to put in uh, this link Okay, so now it's going to ask us to log in. So um, click log in, put your Xbox uh, username in there. Now, normally, because um, I'm already a developer, it's going to ask you to pay $20 to sign up to their Microsoft um, program, like development program. Um, I think it's pretty good because that way you can actually register up to three um, Xboxes to develop on. So now it's asking for that activation code. So pretty much after you pay, it's gonna pop up onto this screen. If not, then put that same uh, URL um, in again, then it will take you back to this screen. So we wanna put this uh, in, so which is 7PC9NR. <clears throat> and we wanna agree and activate. And there we go. I've um, blurred out these details because they're my specific serial numbers and stuff. As you can see, we're now activating. Excellent, and now we wanna say switch and restart. And it's restarting. Okay, so your Xbox has just started up and this is the back end of the Xbox uh, console. And this is where we'll um, set up all our games and upload them to get them running. So as you can see, if we come down to the bottom right hand corner, um, I've blurred out all the IP addresses on here, uh, just for your safety. And you, if you're gonna broadcast um, your, yourself doing this, make sure you blur out all your IP stuff and all pretty much any little bits of code, you wanna make sure they're all um, hidden. So click settings. And you'll see at the top we have enable Xbox device portal and it says to use this um, Xbox device portal open a web browser and type um, either that first URL or that second one. You want to use the first one because that works um, a lot better most of the time. So let's jump back to the computer and put that in. Okay so here we are we're in the we're in the back end of the um, where this is called the Xbox device portal and this is where we upload our packages from Unity. And if you don't have any um, Xbox test account here, what you wanna do is actually just come to add user and then um, just pretty much sign in like you normally would. And on the side, we can check our game performance, see how everything is running. We can do um, media capture, um, um, set up networks, uh, etc. So what we wanna do now is we wanna actually go to Unity Let's load up a project. Okay, so we're in Unity and we have a little basic project here, a little simple third person uh, system uh, that this is all um, pretty much being set up for the Xbox One. Uh, we'll probably just need to to enable the, the sticks and change a couple of little settings, but this is um, set up using Playmaker. So as you can see, we just need to set up our um, the right uh, sticks. So let's just quickly jump over and chuck those two inputs in. Let's just make it 19. Uh, we're going to make it right stick horizontal. It 
set up the sensitivities, make the axis uh, four because it's horizontal. And now let's make 20 and see how it's just all copied everything over for us. Let's now call that vertical. And we wanna make this the fifth because it's up and down. Now there's one thing that we, we wanna make sure we have in our scene. So if we jump over and make a new FS, FSM, this is crucial before you export because I find otherwise you'll have this little mouse cursor um, going everywhere when you play. So we will call this FSM just uh, mouse cursor cursor lock. And let's click edit. Let's just go to action browser and type in mouse set mouse cursor. Super simple. All we need to do is just click these two boxes. We want to hide the cursor and lock the cursor. Okay, so that's done. Let's just save the scene. Now let's jump up to file. This is where we're going to build our game. We're going to go build settings. We want to switch our platform to Windows Store. Excellent. Now it's just going to change a couple of things. Make sure you have these settings. You want to make sure um, your WP SDK, it says latest install but you want to make sure that this highest number is 14393. If there is a higher one, you want to uninstall it. Otherwise, it's just going to crash and nothing's going to work. Um, I've been testing this, leaving everything unchecked. Sometimes you might need to check Unity C projects to actually get all that backend data into Visual Studio so you can um, like debug it and do better, better things. But this is a lot faster having it unchecked. Um, basically, everything else, make sure Universal 10 is selected target device any, uh, build needs to be D3D, not XAML. Uh, okay, and that's it. So now let's jump to player settings. We wanna come down to publishing and see how there's no um, certificate. We wanna say create, just call it uh, your company. So for my sake, I'll call it Filmstorm. And there we go, we've got our certificate. Now let's just click build we want to make a folder, so let's just call this um, uh, Xbox Dev, and we want to say select. Now the game's going to compile everything into um, little packages, um, zip them all up, and then make it into your UWP um, Universal Window uh, platform or project. I'm not sure. Program. I'm pretty sure. But um, once that's all done, we'll basically click on a file, uh, the solution file for Visual Basic, and that's gonna open it up in Visual Basic. And that's where we're gonna compile everything into an Xbox readable um, project. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so that's done. So now we just wanna jump into Xbox Dev, that um, folder we exported, and we wanna double click on third person system s.sln, and that's a Visual Studio solution. So it's going to open uh, this window, preparing solution. It's going to just compile everything very really quickly. All right, and we should be good to go. So we want to change a couple of things in here so the Xbox uh, version works correctly. Let's jump up to ARM. We want to change it to .64. We want to change it to release. We want to come up to build and say clean solution. That's gonna basically just go through and get rid of anything that had the ARM and the debug uh, settings in there. Okay, now that that's done, we wanna come over, right mouse click, go to properties. On this, uh, your uh, project name. We wanna come down to build. You wanna make sure compile of .NET native toolchain is ticked. And then click the this button, which is save all. Or you can come up file, save all. Um, and that will do that again. Now let's just do build clean solution one more time. Excellent, so that'll just make sure that that is set up correctly. We wanna then come right mouse click on this again, come to store, create app packages. All right, now this is where we're gonna create our Xbox um, application. So let's come and click no, next. We want to untick x86 and arm. This is gonna be our output location. So it's basically just gonna put it inside that Xbox dev folder, inside an app packages folder. So let's just click create. This normally takes quite a little while, maybe about five minutes to compile, depending on how complicated the project is. 
Um, so we'll just sit back and wait and then a little success message will pop up when it's done. Excellent, so that package has successfully completed. So now we wanna click close and we wanna jump back to our Xbox um, device portal. Now make sure you're on home and we wanna click add. We wanna choose that file So I've navigated to that file, App Packages. Now this is what's exported from uh, Visual Studio. So let's click on this one. That is the third person system tutorial version 164.apx or .appx bundle, which is the AppX bundle. Click Next. We wanna choose this folder. So go into here and then make sure you're x64. And we want to add each of these um, dependencies. Click Start. Now let's going to upload that to the Xbox. So we'll just give that a second to compile. Okay, so that was package successfully registered. So now if we jump back over to the Xbox, Okay, now that we've uploaded the game to the Xbox, you'll see um, this little thing's appeared here. It says third person system tutorial, and this is our game package. So if we um, actually press, um, you know how you have to start and pull um, like the kind of like the stat board buttons in the middle. So under the Xbox symbol that lights up on your controller, that left little button, the one with the two windows, I have no idea what it's called, press that in and you'll see this little window and you want to come down and say view details and normally um, it, it should import with game but sometimes it imports as app you want to change it to game because that's um, what we're trying to make here so once that's done press the come up to launch home and let's launch into the home and then this is going to look very familiar this is what we see on the actual um, like the consumer end of the Xbox so let's come over to the dashboard. Let's come up to games and apps. And here you should see our Unity symbol with our game. Of course, when you go to export, you can upload your images and everything. We'll probably, if you want a tutorial about that, I can go into the more artistic side of preparing your, your app, but this is more of the technical side. So let's just click OK. It's gonna get our game ready. It's gonna open soon and here we go, so it's opening, it's loading, made with Unity, and here's our game. So I'm controlling all of this with my controller, and here we go. So, I mean, I have done absolutely zero optimization on this at all, but as you can see, the this tiny simple project's um, running quite nicely already and usually you have to do quite a lot of debugging to, to get it nice and silky smooth for people to play. But here you go, we've actually taken this as proof. Here's the um, it coming in and out. We can um, jump back to home. It's gonna suspend the application, or in this case, it's gonna go back to the dashboard. Let's go back to the home. Let's resume it. And here we are, we're back where we are, back in our Xbox game. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. This um, was quite a detailed video. It's probably going to, I don't know how long it's going to edit to it, probably be about 20 minutes, but thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you have any questions or, or get stuck, um, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help. But for now, it's been Kieran Ovisaki for Filmstorm Studios and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks guys.